there. Welcome back to the Jobin Clothing YouTube channel. My name is Chanda Kafor, and I'm the owner and founder of Jobin Clothing, where we give you African flair for your everyday wear. So, this is another part of our series where I kind of show you a little bit how to tie head wraps that you've seen your favorite celebrities wear in the streets okay now before i start i have two disclaimers number one to me there is no wrong way to wear a head wrap okay a head wrap is supposed to showcase you your personality your character your personal style okay so if it works for you it works for me darling and number two it's not going to look exactly the same it's not going to be the same color it's not going to be the same pattern but it's going to get you close okay it's gonna get you close. This is for inspirational purposes, all right? So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, oh wait, I didn't even show you. This is the one that we're going for. This is this is the inspiration. If you'd like to see how I tried to attempt it, let's go. The first thing I want you to notice is my hair. I have these twists in and I just put it in like a crown braid twist situation because we want to make your hair as flat as possible for this style. Um, as usual, you find the back, fold it down a little bit. That's just going to help it stay on your head a little bit better. Center it at the back. Tie it not too tight but taut, okay? As you can see here, there's a little hole opening at the top and that's okay for this particular style. You can do it without the hole, but that'll be another video. Now, I'm taking one end and I'm just rolling it up and sticking it in that hole basically and kind of trying to flatten it down as I'm sticking it through there. Now for this the second one, this one is what's going to be on the front so i'm trying to kind of fold it into it's a wedge shape but i'm trying to fold it almost into a, a rectangle while i'm folding it and rolling it so i can do the same thing tuck it in there and again we want it to be as flat as possible now i'm pulling it just to make it a little wider to fill that space at the top and in the front now you can see it's still gapping at the very, very top. And all I'm doing is taking the sides and tucking them in down. And that is one way that you can achieve this style. Now I'm also going to show you a secondary way that you can achieve the same style. This would be more like an intermediate level, if you will. So all I did was just take that top piece out, okay? And I'm doing the same thing again. It's in a big triangle. I want to minimize it a little bit and I'm taking it and pulling it over everything. So the hole that was left at the top, that extra material, and I'm actually kind of trying to pull it a little taut here as well. And we're going to get it all the way to the back of our head wrap and tuck it in. Now you want to make sure that it still stays tight and that's why it's a little difficult to tie this style. So take your time, tuck it in there as best as you can, and then turn around look at the front and now all you're going to do is just fill in the gaps wherever you see your hair poking out that you need to cover it it's fine just work with it take your time while you're doing this because if you do it wrong you're going to loosen it and then it's not going to feel secure and you're going to end up doing it again so just play around with it and cover up all the spaces until it feels good and comfortable for you now I'm just checking again, just to make sure that it's good to my liking, getting a close up view, making sure there's no open spaces and that it's just good and you know, perfect giving what it's supposed to give. You know what I'm saying? Here is the final look. I hope that you are enjoying this series on this channel and we're going to be doing it again next week because we do this each and every Thursday. So you know what? I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.